Happy New Year and welcome back to the channel. As always, this is going to be our quarter one video where we let you know everything we have planned for the next three months, our goals, the books we're going to read, our book club, all of that fun stuff. But we're actually going to sneak in a few little extras in this quarterly video. We're going to be letting you know all of our book club picks for the entire year so you have lots of time to read ahead. And speaking of reading, the Word Nerds are planning our first ever readathon for a little later in the year. And we'll have some details on that as well, along with some write ins we have planned for January, not only on a our usual Sunday writing, but we're going to do a couple of weekday write-ins this month as well. And we wanted to let you know all of those dates and those things just so we have lots of time to plan ahead. Maybe jump on and write with us or read with us or any of those fun things. So let's get started. A book that I really want to read this quarter is The Nemesis by S.J. Kincaid, which is the third of her Diabolic series, which is like a AIs in space while intergalactic royalty wars are happening. And I've waited so long for the final of this series. It was so good. And I just found out it's really shiny. Oh, I'm excited to start. The book that I am most looking forward to reading in this first quarter is The Duke and I. Uh, like most people, I am obsessed with Bridgerton on Netflix. I thought it was amazing. I finished the whole thing. Um, I have heard mixed opinions about the first book, The Duke and I, but I've heard really good things about the subsequent books about the other Bridgerton children. Also, it's been a really long time since I've read a long series and the Bridgerton series has nine books. So I figured why not? And that's the book I want to read. One of my biggest anticipated reads for the entire year just so happens to be this quarter and it is The Project by Courtney Summers. It is set to be released February 2nd and it sounds amazing. One book that I would really like to read in the next quarter is Fool Me Once by Harlan Coben, which is uh, a book that I have started obviously, and it was a Christmas gift, um, and it just sounds really, really cool, and I've been really into thrillers lately, so I feel like this would be a really good bet. This quarter, I would like to read Plain Bad Heroines by Emily Danforth. One book I'm excited to read in the first quarter of 2021 is Alicia Dow's The Sound of Stars. This is a YA sci-fi that I've gotten only fantastic reviews on. Um, has a main character who is a fangirl, which I always love, and I think this is going to be a really good read. One book I'm planning to read this quarter, or technically reread, is Every Heart a Doorway by Seanan McGuire. I read this a while ago and didn't really click with it, but it is the first book in a series all about a bunch of children who are going to the school because they got pulled into these fantasy worlds like Wonderland or Narnia and then had to come back to the real world and aren't really adjusting to it. And the whole idea just sounds wonderful. So even though it was only like a three star read for me a few years ago, I want to give it another try. This quarter, I'm really excited to read When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. For quarter one, I will be reading Pity the Reader on Writing with Style. Let us know what books you are looking forward to in the first quarter of this year. We loved the workshops that we did in 2020, so we are bringing them back for 2021. On February 7th, we are doing a workshop about writing tension. And on March 14th, we are doing another workshop about writing dialogue. It's a new year, so we're ready to set some new goals. In the first quarter, my goals are to read four books per month. That's 12 books total. When it comes to writing, my plan this year is to spend a lot of time revising a project, but I have two different books that I'm trying to decide between, so that's the first part of my goal for this quarter is to decide what book I'm going to be revising in 2021 and then to create an outline for the next draft. Last quarter goal was to finish the Druid book. I did end up doing that, so yay! My quarter goal for the start of this year is to read every day. Doesn't matter if it's a chapter or a few words, I just have to pick up a book every day this first quarter. I don't know exactly what my specific goal is going to be for this quarter. It has something to do with launching Tasklands, which is my productivity slash virtual pet project. It is out in the world at Tasklands.com. I am doing a month long planuary event during January with 31 days of planning prompts and just the first three months of the year are going to be a little nuts. So I just want to get through it and have the first three months of the year are probably going to be a little nuts with all things Tasklands, but it's going to be so much fun. So I just want to focus on that. This quarter I've really got two major goals. I am hoping to finish up revisions on my ghost book. They've got maybe one concerted week's worth of work left. So I just want to sit down and hammer those out. And then after that, I'm hoping to plot out my big project that I'm going to be working on this year, which is a big fantasy that combines elements from all of my favorite shelved books. And yeah, it's going to be fun. Last quarter, my only real goal was to survive the holidays. 
This year I am working on very attainable, realistic goals. So for this quarter, I am simply going to plan to read, write, and organize a little bit each day without any pressure on how much or how little I'm doing because even if I do a little bit each day, it's momentum forward and I will take that as a win. One of my main goals going into the first quarter of 2021 is to kind of wrap up some of the stuff that I started in 2020. 2020, of course, was kind of a garbage year for a lot of reasons, but I actually had a pretty productive year in terms of my writing and had a few different things that I made a lot of really good progress on that are now to the point where they're almost finished. And I'm hoping to use quarter one to kind of wrap all of that up and get some of those books either ready for the next draft or ready for betas or ready for querying. And then um, to be able to, in the next couple quarters, be able to focus a little bit more on drafting new things. A goal of mine this quarter is not necessarily to get back into writing or write a certain amount of words, but it's to do something adjacent to writing. Um, I myself am part of the literary magazine at my university, but I would like to, to move on and do more kind of in my publishing writing career. So a goal of mine, not necessarily even just this quarter, but for this year, is to get more editing experience or maybe find an internship, maybe strengthen my relationships with the advanced copy programs that I work with. Just something to like maybe boost my resume a little bit and give myself some more experience. Maybe volunteer work, an internship, whatever that happens to be. Maybe I will just switch jobs entirely. I don't know what's going to happen this year because I was just really working on surviving 2020 and we did it. So now this year is just all the possibilities are opening up. So my only goal last quarter was to finally plot that Great Gatsby retelling and that definitely didn't happen mostly because of school just being way too hectic. So my goals for this quarter are to read a little bit more for fun and to try and plot that retelling. I'm actually like I want to write it. My first goal of quarter one of 2021 is to read more. Now, when I was younger, like in middle school and early high school, I was a avid and voracious reader. I would often read over 100 books a year and not even blink. In my adulthood and as my responsibilities have grown, I have not been able to read as much and my love of reading has definitely decreased. Well, my fiance's friend is hosting a reading challenge amongst our group of friends and I decided to take part in it and I'm really hoping that this gets me back into reading. So to go along with this challenge that I am a part of, my first goal is to read more. You asked, we answered. We will be doing more weekday write-ins in 2021. We loved doing these in November for NaNoWriMo and it seemed like y'all enjoyed it as well. So we will be doing more of those starting next week. Check out the calendar at the end of this video for more info about dates and times. As you know, last year we switched up our book club schedule. So now every quarter we do one book club, one game night, and one movie night discussion, not necessarily in that order. For quarter one, our book club pick is, that's me hitting my legs in a drum roll, Mexican Gothic. I really love this book and I am very excited to talk about it this quarter. It's gonna be good. For our movie night this quarter, or I don't really know if movie night works since it's a TV show, we are going to be watching The Haunting of Bly Manor. We are going to watch it and then talk about it as a group. A few of us really enjoyed watching Hill House together, so hopefully this will be fun as well, and there will be lots to discuss when we all get together at the end of one of these months. Our game night this quarter is going to be a surprise. Maybe even a spooky surprise to go along with our book club pick, Mexican Gothic, and our movie pick, The Haunting of Blind Manor. So come check it out if you dare. You should dare, though, because it's going to be a lot of fun. For our second quarter book club pick, we're going to be reading The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. This is a book that you can kind of think of as Groundhog's Day, but with more murder. So every day, um, this character Evelyn is murdered and the main character is trying to solve this murder. And unless he can solve the murder, then the cycle's just going to continue. So this is going to be a fun book club pick, I think, and I hope that you will join us for it. For quarter three, we're going to be reading The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson, which is all about a young woman who's living in a puritanical society when she discovers dark powers within herself. It is described as a stunning feminist fantasy, and I am so excited to check this one out. And to finish off the year, our final book club of 2021 is going to be the hefty but very worth it Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, which is a fantastic sapphic fantasy novel with dragons. I'm so excited to reread this, even though 
I know, I know it looks intimidating. This is like literally this book is one of the bricks that built this tower, but it's absolutely worth it and I look forward to discussing it in further detail. All right, everyone, thank you so, so much for watching. It's going to be such an amazing year. We're really excited to be starting our readathon later this year, so make sure that you keep an eye out for that. And of course, Happy New Year and happy writing. Bye, word nerds.